What's going on, Jerome's? Mercifully, it is NFL Draft Week, only a couple of days until the draft kicks off, but there's still just a little bit of room for a couple more mock drafts, and we've talked about the Vikings could potentially trade up per the Tom Pelissero report on Monday, and who they going to go after? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we want to do a mock draft for the Vikings trade up, so we'll see what happens, though. But we got a couple of trade offers right now, Bears and the Tennessee Titans, where it's the mythical... Trade back in the first round and get a second round pick. But it's tough trading in division, man. Especially if they're moving up for a quarterback because that will be talked about twice a year forever by stupid Joe Buck and stupid Troy. Aikman. Oh, do you know the Vikings gave up this pick? Hmm. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to have the flexibility of getting back into the stratosphere if the right player falls. So let's go. Let's go. All right. Let a couple picks bleed off. So one, two, three, quarterbacks, one, two, three. I don't expect this to be to order. I actually do think that Justin Fields will fall out of the top three. I think it will be Trey Lance or Mac Jones at three. Of course, number two is going to be Zach Wilson in all likelihood. But of course, yeah, hard to talk in absolutes, but yeah. Yeah, yeah and four, a Falcon certainly could not pass up Zach Wilson. Uh, so it probably is going to be quarterbacks one through four in some order. I wouldn't be shocked if it's these four. Maybe Trey Lance uh, falls a little bit. Now, Penny Soul gets by the Bengals at five. That is big. And then Penny Soul goes six at Dolphins. Ah, it sucks. It hurts. I thought for sure they were going to go for Kyle Pitts. But, all right, let's see what happens. One more pick. One more pick. Seven, Devontae Smith to Lions. Surprising. Now, here's the honey hole where it had been talked about that the Panthers and the Broncos are the sweet spot of trade-up uh, positions for the Vikings, where Kyle Pitts is still there. And I understand that why uh, tight end is not essentially the number one need for the Vikings. There's a lot of other needs, especially offensive line. But, man, Kyle Pitts has a chance to be a generational prospect. And that's super tempting. And I understand that the the Panthers, it would make sense for them to stick and pick with Kyle Pitts. Do we want to get nuts? I kind of want to get nuts. Let's see what it's going to take. All right, so Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers, what up, Scott Fritterer, or whatever your name is? So we will. Hmm. It's gonna it's gonna cost a lot. So not only we're we moving up from fourteen, we're moving up from twenty. Coming up twelve spots in the first round. All right, let's start off opening salvo. One, uh, twenty overall and a future one. Propose. Oh my God, that went for it. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're good to go. So. Actually, you know, hmm, yeah, we're, all right, so we're going to take Kyle Pitts. Everyone's going to hate me. I don't care. But you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. And here's also what we're going to do. So Rashawn Slater goes nine to the Broncos. That makes sense, even though he'll start a right tackle opposite Garrett, Garrett Bowles. And now let's let a couple picks bleed off. Three. All right, Darisaw is still there. Darisaw is still there. The Bears are at 14. Let's see who the Bears take. Probably not Darisaw. The Bears take Sertain. Trade up for Patrick Sertain? Okay. Uh, so the Patriots now, they should take Trey Lance. But they go Christian Barmar. Okay. So now the Cardinals, the Cardinals certainly don't need much. Like they, they could certainly go cornerback. They could go edge. But I'm trying to find the sweet spot for Darisaw. Let's check out the next couple of picks so cardinals raiders certainly could take daris up so yeah let's make a move with the cardinals uh arizona so we want to get up to 16 it's going to cost us we already gave up our future one so we'll give the two we'll give the bad three we'll give the medium four and we'll give the good five and i want actually give me all your sevens so 16 so trade decline proposed trade all right. All right. Both threes. Both threes. Fine. We'll do it. Mm, or try one more time. Uh, three, three, four. And we'll just take one seventh. Okay. One last shot. Because uh, I. Ah. All right. We'll let a couple more picks bleed off because I don't want to give up the farm. I, I don't want to package future picks either. So now we're getting down there. Leatherwood went. Tevin Jenkins. Wow. Jenkins and Leatherwood went before Darisa, which. I, I guess it's possible. I don't really see it happening. Oh, now we're going to propose a trade. Who's up next? Let's clear this. 
Next 20 picks. So Steelers are up at 24. Uh, I don't know if they'd be in the mark of a trading down, but we'll give it a shot. Steelers. I mean, with quarterbacks off the board, maybe. Maybe. But actually, they should be in the Derisaw business. But I don't know if they will be. All right, so can we get two, three, four, one time? All right, two, three, three, four. All right, so trade accepted. It, we had to pay through the nose, baby, but we did it. So somehow, some way, resume. And now we're getting off. <laughs> the Steelers are trying to trade back for the pick that they just. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. So the Seahawks are now offering two, four, seven, and a future first. I mean, okay. That was hard to turn down. That was really, really hard to turn down, even though they don't really have future first round picks to give away. All right, there went Darisa. It'd be what it'd be. But now we're back in the second round. Wait, who, who did the Seahawks come up to get? Uh, Seahawks came up to get Quiddipay. Okay, I understand that. So now who are we going to target? Because we haven't hit the offensive line le- yet. Raddens is on board. Dickerson is on board. Cosme's on board. Uh, let's look at the interior offensive line as a whole. Wyatt Davis is there. Trey Smith. All right, so let's maneuver. So we have... Well, let's see what happens with the board. Because we're waiting a while. We're waiting until 24. Like eventually, Dickerson is going to come off the board. All right, so let's pause here. Where are we at? All right, so we're halfway through. Oh, we're halfway there. But we got the future first round pick back. So we're pretty excited about that. So now we want to move up. All right, so who's up? The Dallas Cowboys. Ah, hey, Jerry Jones. Ah, hey, Jerry Jones. So Cowboys. Hey, we'll trade you Kyle Pitts. Nah. Uh, so we got our fourth round back. All right, so can we just do that for a fourth? All right. Is it going to cost us a five as well? And so is it going to cost us a better four? Wow. Stingy. Stingy. Stingy, stingy. Actually, you know what? Screw you guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Maybe he'll make it. Maybe he doesn't. It'd be what it'd be. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Baby, yeah, baby. Or we'll just take Creed. Dickerson made it. Okay, so we didn't have to give that up. Uh, but Dickerson is there. Let's see. It looked like there was a run on tackles again. Uh, Why Davis went to the Raiders. That makes sense. Uh, Patriots took Jackson Carmen. That's interesting. Tackle-wise, Christensen, Spencer Brown, Wheeler, Walker, Little Jr., James Hudson. Yes. Trey Smith. Yes. Dickerson. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a couple moves here. So number one, we're going to get back into the second round. Uh, who's in the back end? All right, so the Bucks at 32. It's 32, and we will give up three fours. That seems like a lot. Four, four, five. Can we get the four, four, four in? Wow. So four, 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 five. And I want a seventh back, damn it. Wow. Okay, fine. You know, we're just going to take Landon Dickerson. He's going to start a guard. And if Bradbury doesn't pan out, you know, we have the option to move him to center. So we're going to have him a guard. We're going to have Olisi Makaudo also starting a guard as of right now. But we want to get back into the third. We want to add some interior offensive line competition. So this was a weird break in the board. Where you trade up, you trade it back into the first round, and then you trade it back out after the uh, stupid Seahawks gave us a first round pick back, which is great. It was very nice of them. All right, so now what do we do for the rest of this? Richie Grant is there. Tufele. Or do we just sit back and let the board break how it's going to break? Because as of right now, there isn't any high end offensive lineman that I'm just really jonesing about. Yeah, Smith went. Deontay Smith is there. Ben Cleveland. Uh, Kendra Green. Yeah, we could just sit back. And, and, and we'll just see what the hell happens. Whew. Feeling good, though. It was something that was not expected to... Mm. 
All right, so now let's maneuver for Ben Cleveland. I I'm sick of waiting. Yeah, Kumbaya goes out the window. Browns, Andrew Barry, Stefanski. Let's make this thing happen. All right, so 27. All right, we'll give you the foul foul. Wow, you're really turning that down, huh? Fine, 4-4 four, four for 3-7. Jeez, it's like pulling teeth, man. Uh, but we're getting our guy, Ben Cleveland. Now, he's going to compete with Olisi Makaudo for that starting job. So even though it, it, w it was a very circuitous path, Somehow, some way, we ended up with one of the best offensive weapons in this class. Probably the offensive weapon. And then we got two guards. And it was quite the sojourn. But we, we got that first round pick back from Seattle. And hell, if knock on wood, uh, hopefully this doesn't happen. But if Russell Wilson gets abducted by aliens, that could be a top five pick. It, it really could be. So now you have seven picks, which is a standard allotment of picks, by the way. Two fours, two fists. Uh, a six and two sevens. And now we can just address needs all over the place. Tyler Shelvin is just out there chilling. That's amazing. That's amazing, man. But we got ways to wait. And there he goes. So now on the clock, Marvin Wilson is there. Odigi Zua, Dylan Moses. Yeah, we're going to take Marvin Wilson. Where if Marvin Wilson declared last year, he might have been a first round pick. So I think that's huge value in the fourth round. Also, Kate Stearns is there. All right, so we got a couple trade offers. Uh, a fifth and a sixth for moving back a full round. Nah, nah. So Kate Stearns is there. What up? Kate Stearns, welcome aboard. Now, let's see, fifth round. And this is a Reefs consensus big board, by the way. So pretty damn solid stuff. So now we got to wait till 13. I, I'm in on Herbert. I'm in on Kylan Hill. Semifioko is also there. And there he goes. All right, so Kylan Hill is going to be our guy. I'm pretty sure. Just take a gander. Yeah, he's going to be our guy. Kylan Hill, running back three. Also can use him as a return specialist. Feeling good. Kylan Hill, formerly University of Kansas. Actually, no, that's Khalil Herbert. I'm getting my running backs mixed up. It's been... Oh... I mean, if Josh Palmer's there in, in the fifth, shoot. Absolutely. Absolutely. friggin lutely So, if, man. Get ready to rock and roll. What, what do we need still? Tight end, sure. Linebacker, sure. Edge, yes. We'll get it. We'll don't you worry, we'll get it. So Chauncey Golson's on board still. Um... Do we move? All right. Goldson is there. Cooper is there. Kuntz. Kind of. I mean, kind of good waiting. There's Hodges there. We just got to get to 15. And that took forever. All right. So Kindo coming in from Florida State. Super raw. But sticking with the giving... Andre Patterson, mid-round edge dudes, as opposed to the national media jabroni haircuts. Ah, they got to go edge. They got to go edge early. I don't know why all my national media dudes just sound like Bill Simmons, but it, it'd be what it'd be. Come on, come on, come on. And this just goes forever with all the comp picks. Like, there's a lot of six-round picks. Oh, middle bay bay. What do we need still? Tight end, yes. Although, we'll probably get a tight end as a UDFA. Do we want to double down on offensive linemen? I'm sorry, triple down on O linemen? Or are we kind of good there? I mean, we already have numerous tackle projects. So that could be whatever. Haven't gotten the cornerback, haven't gotten the tight end. Uh, our guy, Tariq Thompson, is just hanging out there as well. Pro Wells, yeah, I mean, they're really down to Luke Farrell. So, yeah, you could probably grab a tight end as a UDFA. Cornerback, Bryce Mills, Norwood. Oh, John Charles? Sure, why not? Partake. Quarterback-wise, so they did do some work on Peyton Ramsey. But, yeah, I mean, probably could get him as a UDFA. Carmen Green. 
And no one really sticks out there. Could grab a, a, another wide receiver. Because why the hell not? Um, actually, no one really, no one really does it. Yeah, got the running back, quarterbacks, whatever. Just get three guards. Tristan Hodges still there. Defensive lineman, we're good. Linebacker, oh yeah, linebacker makes sense. Buddy Johnson, there you go. Team leader, spark plug, Buddy Johnson from A and M. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Overall, oh. There was an error. All right, so let's zoom in and enhance. So uh, apparently there was an error on our fan speak mock draft. So we're going to have to shoot from the hip here. So in a very odd, circuitous way, we ended up with Kyle Pitts, where we traded up a future first-round pick. And then we got back into the back end of the first round with a Steelers pick at 24. And then the Seahawks were like, hey, hey, we're coming up for Quiddy Pay, and we'll give you a future first-round pick. So we actually got that back. And then we were able to maneuver in the second, third round, got Dickerson and Cleveland. They'll be your starting guards week one. Ezra's at left tackle. And if Bradbury doesn't pan out center, Dickerson is going to be in. And then you got Marvin Wilson and Josh Kando from Florida State, both Seminoles on the defensive line. Cade Stearns is going to be in the safety mix with Xavier Woods and Josh Metellus. Kylan Hill will be your running back three, as well as could help with the return game. Josh Palmer, I think, is going to be that perfect wide receiver three. Shamar John Charles from Appalachian State, I think, is super underrated. Getting him in the seventh round is a steal. And then Buddy Friggin' Johnson is your late-round linebacker, special teams guy, and you're good. But the crown jewel is Kyle Pitts, man. Like, it was not expected, because we were expecting to trade up for Penny Sewell. But the board broke weird, man. And things are going to be weird on Thursday night. I can't wait. But your thoughts, trading up for Kyle Pitts. And, and not mortgaging the future, because we got that future first-round pick back. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.